Hi, my name is Peter Fisher and welcome to another MySQL console tutorial. Today we're going to take a look at a MySQL function called concat underscore ws. This is a string manipulation function of MySQL. So let's um, let's pull out the fields that we're going to play with today and that's uh, select title, under, uh, title first underscore name and then last underscore name from the customer table. Yeah, that looks fine. Okay, so we've uh, we've got those three fields that we're going to play with now. In a previous video, I talked, to, I was talking about the concat um, MySQL function. Today, we're going to take a look at the concat underscore ws function and its differences. But uh, I'll just do a quick recap on the concat method itself. So the concat method. Um, concatenates a series of values or fields representing values or, of records um, into a single string. Now, as demonstrated before, the string um, won't be separated by by anything. So it, it won't be a comma separated string or it won't be a space separated string. It will just be a, a single string. So select concat um, and we're going to say title we're going to say first name and then last name and then from and then the customer table okay so you, you see what I mean it's just a single string with no separation in between in, in, in between the values that you've asked to be concatenated now in the previous uh, video I, I showed how to actually manually add separation in between each one and that's pretty much um, what I'm doing here, you, you need to manually add extra arguments for separation. Now that's all well and good when you've only got a couple of um, values to concatenate, but uh, what happens if you've got lots of values? Um, it's going to be tiresome to do that as well as prone to error. So that's where the concat underscore ws function steps in. Now the ws stands for with separation, so that's concatenation with separation. Um, let's just clear the screen and I'll give you an example. So select and then it's concat underscore ws. Now the first argument will be uh, the separator. So in this case we're going to go for a blank string um, which will be the white space and then we uh, continue the, the function call by adding an arbitrary list of values or fields representing values um, to concatenate. So in this case it'll be title, first name, and then last name. And then we close the break brace and it's from uh, the customer customer table. So I've just double checked that. So we're selecting uh, a concatenated string. We're separating it by uh, a blank space here, white space. Um, we're asking for the title, first name, and the last name from the customer table. That looks good to me. So let's run that, and you can see that we've added uh, a, a space in between each one, and that's done by the first argument of this concat underscore ws function. Now, of course, we can add any kind of separator into here. So, for instance, this could be I don't know a comma. It could even be a number. It doesn't have to be a string, it could be numeric. Um, and so we've added a comma in between each one. Okay, so that's um, uh, concat underscore ws, concatenation with white space. If you've got any comments, questions, or queries, please let me know. Please put them in the comments below and I'll try and get to them as soon as I can. Um, like the video if you found it helpful and subscribe to get the, the next set of videos. I try and uh, publish a video a week. Um, and thank you very much for watching. See you next time.